Well, g'day guys, it's Matt here again. So this week, um, we got the spraying finished here at the development block. And as you might be able to see, a little bit of work's happening on Tiny 2. Um, now in a previous D11 update video, I did um, say what was happening with that, but we'll go over and just see how that's looking. <laughs> So we can see here we've had a extra section welded on on top. So you can see that bit there and all those bits along there. So this was the original little hungry board type thing. Now that's obviously just to stop stuff coming over the blade and, and damaging um, all the rams and hoses and the grill and everything in behind there. Um, but what we're finding is you still get a fair bit of stuff through there and or and and over that um, tiny one which can't actually see it's behind these little silos here the tiny one already has that or it had that when we bought it uh, and it's just really helpful another benefit is when you got the blade down and you're looking at the cab you can see the top of this bit here and you can sort of use that to gauge your height as well so that just makes it a little bit easier as well but the plan is is to fit this to it um, so what this will do too is is when we're pushing like really dry easy dirt and it and it falls up and goes all the way over there it'll this will sort of help push that along as well so we'll get the benefit of um, having extra carrying capacity when the conditions are right but also this should protect um, yeah sticks and whatever else rocks from coming through and one hitting the GPS um, pole as you can see there's that one's bent I think that one's fallen off a couple of times um, but also yeah you got your grill there and these hoses here so just keeping everything away from that so yeah that should be finished um, in the next few days I think Peter here with hey, mate. Wayne or Robbo we just he come back to work on the machine so what do you reckon mate Brad's had a bit of a play yeah, pretty flash. He'll start up his own exhaust business soon. <laughs> what's he What's he done to you, mate? New exhaust, new tire hot ends, new paint job on the mole board, fixed all the oil leaks in the around the centre pin, few blown hoses. Had to make a whole new chamber for the exhaust. Welded up like a real professional, true legend. And and you've been on the you've been on the job now for a few months. What do you reckon? What do you reckon the machine? I think we didn't we touch up the horsepower a little bit too. Yeah, yeah, no, she goes very well now. Yeah, no, very well. Carries dirt, cuts like no tomorrow. She actually, yeah, performs really well. Yeah. And and if there is a downside, is does it have a downside? I get a cramp in my foot from holding off the throttle. <laughs> That's about the only downside. Okay, yeah. and maybe she'll be too noisy now and you won't be able to nah. hear the radio. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, it's all good. I can hear the engine talking. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> yeah, guys, so we've got the grader underway. Um, it's pretty well done and, and off. And we've got the weed it is currently going. Joe Sire's on that, so we're training him up on that. Um, he's doing a good job of that. So just got a little bit of contract work there to finish off before we we want to use the tractor the 280 versatile tractor which is on the way to we want to use that to put on the gas rig for when we start gassing in hopefully maybe three days time um and yeah brad is tidying up a bit of contracting with the rogator so i'm left here to do the domestic duties so you can see here this is in line where the pipe goes and we've got a stake marked here because it was just water was coming out of there and all this was wet as you can see from the marks here i do have to get the shovel out um it's been a while since any of us have swung a shovel around but um yeah i've got to get the shovel out dig this down all three of our loaders are at the development block still so can't use them um but yeah if i'm by myself too it's pretty hard to use a loader without making the problem worse by ripping up a good two meters of pipe so um i'll just start with the shovel if that um, doesn't work or it's too difficult, um, yeah, we'll go to plan B. But, uh, yep, we'll 
get into it, see what we can find. Well guys, we've been here for a, probably a bit over half an hour. We're probably two and a half foot down and yeah, finally got down to the pipe. Now it is this sort of clay, mucky, really sticky soil. So the shovel just blocks up with mud and makes it difficult, but I've uh, just done the last bit by hand. There's a little, little hole, a little ding in the pipe. So I'm not sure exactly, there's nothing really around it that would, that would, uh, yeah, damage it. So I'm not quite sure what's happened there. We're back up at the hill and you might be able to see some buildings down there so the pipe that i fixed went from a tank that's just behind those hedges down the hill to down there so about in the middle there somewhere was where i was fixing the pipe but looks like it's held it's um, not leaking so that is a win there well we are back up at the main farm here and as you can probably see it's wet again so this is a second rainy day. Um, yeah, we are just currently catching up on a few jobs. One of those is Dad's Ute. Um, in a few videos ago, I said we'd had a bull bar and bits and pieces ordered for it. So yeah, the one we wanted originally, we couldn't get, it was gonna to take too long. So actually we've got a different brand of bull bar to go on. Um, it's that one down there. Uh, should be able to take footage of that when it's on there so you'll be able to see it. But we've also got um, side steps or rock sliders, whatever you want to call them. They're those things just here. And they go along the side there. And we also have scrub rails is what we call them here, at least anyway. And it joins up with the, the side steps there and comes all the way up and joins up with the bull bar. Um, so, yeah, that helps for if anything hits on here and also gives the bull bar a lot more strength. Yeah, so we're halfway through... Um, fitting this and yeah we've got some other things going on as well well folks peter here again another rainy day boys are busy at it i'm just checking out the situation not doing much but talking we realized i think it was my mistake that when we got the new tracks to put on tiny one or the reconditioned ones they didn't have they hadn't had the hole cut out in the middle to ease the mud when it builds up on the inside of the track and so that tends to if it can't escape out there it tends to roll, uh, roll the track off the off the sprocket or lift it up and then it jumps so we've been wondering how we can get around that so we've ended up buying a plasma cutter 120 amp machine um, and that was a test run that we did yesterday 21 mil or 7 8 we did a test run and that's what happened. So now we're just seeing how far we can go with it. And Brad's gonna have a cut at this pool that we uh, replaced the other day. And so this is 40, 45 minutes. And we're hoping What do you reckon about that, Brad? Yeah, that's, well, that's good, eh? It's getting to the close to the end of its limit, isn't it? Yeah, that's pretty much it, yeah. So do you want to have a crack at this 50 mil? Yeah, we'll just, it. just see if you can... I don't know that it would penetrate it, would it? But I think when we try to penetrate or drill a hole with it, it's harder on the tips. I think it did. It didn't mm. it severed? It hadn't quite yep. severed. Yeah, no, it's just a flag there. Yeah. Yeah, right, so she did 50 mil. 
Yeah, right. Well, that's a bit of an education. So the idea is that we'll cut out a four-inch hole in, in the 80 um, browser plates on the dozer, or 40 on each side, and um, we're hoping to do it in a fairly timely manner, like maybe at least one a minute. So that'll reduce the time enormously. We think it's going to be much quicker and not as hot as the oxy. Anyway, we're just experimenting. So the machine we have is not a particularly high brand one, it's a, um, but it's probably a more farmer usage than industrial. It's just a Unimig Razor Cut 120. Um, the one we've always previously used was a, a 100. Um, and that's done a good job, that one. Uh, for a long time anyway we're looking for a bit of an upgrade looks like we've got it we're going to try we did manage to cut the 50 mil um, but we've just been trying for the last five minutes a few little different things so i'm going to have another crack and see if we can get a bit further with a bit more success um, so we'll see how we go That was, I'm not sure how many seconds that took, but that was 6 inches or 1500, 150 mil. Sorry, there was a bit of slag there. So 2 inch, 50 mil. And that did more than a, really, that was quite a clean cut, because that slag on the bottom will just knock off. So we'll turn it over and we'll give it a bit of a, a bump and see how easily the slag or the dross comes off the bottom. So this is just a chipping hammer. So I would call that a successful outcome. Now this machine's not actually rated or they don't say that it will do a clean cut at 50 mil, but there you go, it did. So I think that's quite impressive. Well, it's the end of another day and we have made some progress here. Um, haven't quite finished it, as you can see here. I basically got this side done. So there's the new side steps and the, the scrub rail that comes up the side there. Um, so yeah, a few might be wondering why do we worry about bull bars and um, yeah, side rails, all these things. Uh, out here, there are quite a few kangaroos, is probably the main one, but pigs, um, all sorts that can come running out at night. And if you hit a good sized pig or a good sized roo without a bull bar, um, you're not going anywhere. So it'll just smash the whole front end in and um, yeah, virtually render you immobile. So yeah, having a bull bar at least um, still can do a bit of damage. They can bend and move a bit and you know, do that, but there's a good chance you'll get home. Now the scrub rails here, what they do is really help the to strengthen up the outside of the bull bar. So these mounts here are all in the middle. So I've got this section here that's not supported. So yeah, having the scrub rails connected to there just really gives it extra strength because they go down and bolt along the chassis underneath there where the, uh, where the side step goes. Yeah, so it really strengthens it up. And also if you have any kangaroos coming in on from the side, which often they do, and they hit that bit, you'll save quite a bit of damage there too. So anyway, we're Got um, pretty well most of it done. Um, yeah, got all the lights wired up and just gonna have to, yeah, tidy off, finish off a couple of things underneath here. You can see I've still got to tidy off that bit of plastic and put a guard up under there, but um, yeah, they're fairly well protected underneath with the guards they give you. And we'll, uh, yeah, see what tomorrow brings. 
Well, we've got the scrub rails, side steps, and the bull bar all finished. So it's looking pretty schmick. See, so yeah, I should have a um, bit better front end protection now. It's come up quite well. So yeah, the other thing we're doing is the road gate is getting a service. Um, it's a little bit early for its service, but they're forecasting a bit more rain next week. So it's, we yeah, have had just had three days of rain now and totaling, I think about an inch of rain. And yeah, next week they're talking a bit of rain too. So while we've got the time, we're gonna service it because we want it ready to go for when it's dry enough and it'll be going flat out. Well, it's been uh, a fairly productive week considering it rained for a good chunk of it, but uh, yeah, we're able to get a few things done. Um, yeah, got all the old man's bull bar, scrub rails, all that tidied off, and it looks really good. So I'm really pleased how that came up. Um, and yeah, we we're just able to tidy off a couple of other jobs. We got the Rogator serviced. We just got to wait for it to dry out now. So anyway, that'll be it for this week's video. Um, yeah, just keep hitting the like button if you enjoy it, and subscribe, obviously, if you haven't already. And we'll catch you in the next one.